that we're actually talking about the Sabbath. Exodus 31, 12. The Sabbath will be a sign between me and you for generations to come, so you'll know that I am the Lord who makes you holy. This is Forsythia. This year I actually worked out the difference between winter jasmine and Forsythia. This is definitely Forsythia. And when the Forsythia comes out, one of the very first plants to bloom, you know that spring is on its way. It's here and that better days are coming. It's a sign of what is coming. And the Sabbath is also a sign of what is coming. It's a sign of the fact that we are going to be there in God's eternal kingdom. It's a, it's a sign of creation, remembering back there, the seventh day when God rested. And it's a sign for the future, the future of an eternity with our loving Lord. So it's time to think about signs. In uh, Deuteronomy 5, we're given the reason why it's a sign, as God gives Ten Commandments there. He says that, uh, remember you were once slaves in Egypt, and that the Lord your God led you out from there with his great power and incredible strength. This is why the Lord your God has ordered you to keep the Sabbath day. And you go, wait a minute, that's not what I learned. What about Exodus 20? Yes, in Exodus 20 we're told to remember because that was when God rested in creation on the seventh day. It's interesting that we have those two reasons, creation and redemption. The wonderful works of God when he first made this world and then his rescue of his people, us as well, from slavery, from the slavery of sin and oppression. So that is why the Sabbath is a sign. It's a wonderful way of understanding what God is doing for us. There's some quotes there in the notes for this time, the first by David Wilbur. God did not intend the Sabbath to be a burden, but rather a time of joy. The Bible says that blessings come when we honor the Sabbath and call it to delight. Isaiah 58. Yeshua said the Sabbath was made for our benefit, Mark 2. So enjoy it and give thanks to God for giving us rest. Yes, absolutely. It's a time to enjoy. It's a time to talk together with God, to enjoy his wonderful creation when we can get out and explore these delights, to think about what God did in creation and what he's going to do in redemption when the earth is made new and we get the chance to live there and that God is going to be with us and be our God. Every time we turn to Christ in faith is like a moment of Sabbath, a little foretaste of eternal rest and glory. It is the holy time set aside to receive the greatest gift of God ever had to give, which is himself in his own beloved son, said Philip Carey. It's a sign of the fact that God is with us from creation to the very end, that he came and he lived among us. Many, many quotes there. The happiness of heaven is the constant keeping of the Sabbath. Heaven is called a Sabbath to make those who have Sabbaths long for heaven and those who long for heaven love Sabbath, says Philip Henry, the famous Bible commentator. So I want to invite you to think about what this sign is really all about because all too often we've turned it into some kind of requirement or even a burden something that you can't do what you really wanted to do, where you really are thinking about, oh, uh, this is something I shouldn't do and that's not something I should do right now, or maybe I should wait and all the rest of that. No, let's just take a delight in it and rest and relax and enjoy this wonderful sign of God's presence in our lives. The famous rabbi, Abraham Heschel, talked about the Sabbath as being a cathedral in time. And that's a great way of understanding it. It's cathedrals, wonderful places to go and worship, but <laughs> this is our cathedral right now. We are worshiping in God's cathedral by thinking about him right now in his wonderful creation, marred though it is by sin, anticipating a world where there is no more sin, no more death, no more suffering, no more COVID, no more of any of the consequences of sin, but where we will be together with our God forever. That's 
what Sabbath is a sign of, that's what it reminds us of. Let's think about that.